Hello guys, how you doing? My name is Robbie here and um, I'm gonna make a quick unboxing video of my brand new Ioptron Tripeer mount. Um, I will go through, open the box up, show you how it comes, give you a sense of what it looks like. Um, this is uh, part one of my three part shipment. I'm waiting on my uh, Sim 70G mount that's gonna go on this Tripeer, but I don't have it yet. Um, this is de early December 2020. Things are still sketchy in the supply chain, but I did get my tribe here. So that's slowly coming from my Optron, um, but the mount's still in route. Um, ultimately, my Celestron C11 Edge HD will sit on top of the mount on top of this pier. But I already have the C11. I did an unboxing video on that. So I'm going to do it on now on this one. Um, as far as setting this thing up, uh, I might do another quick video. I'm explaining that process, but uh, I do at least want to open the box up and kind of, you know, so you guys know what it looks like and what comes around. There's not a whole lot. This is going to be a really quick video, actually, because it's just a tripod. It's just the it holes. It's just it's just the uh, tripod of the upper class here. So I've already opened it up. I've not taken it out of the box yet. Okay. So right here we have. Some uh, packaging and foam holding the pier. Let's see if I can turn this around and show you. You can kind of see it like that. Just like that. Okay. So I am going to gently pull it out if that's possible. <laughs> this, this thing weighs about like 33 pounds. It's what the shipping weight for me. And it, it feels it. Okay. So this model right here, um, apparently, I I thought it did, but I guess it didn't. But um, this one doesn't come with a case, so I'm assuming I need to buy a separate case. I'm not sure if they were supposed to come with it or not. Maybe there was an option. Um, I didn't get the case. I will, as typical, keep the box. Do not throw it away. Uh, we still have this foam here. You know, the box is always good for holding these things. So, this is very well packaged. That's one. Okay, I see how it's Two and three. All right, now in the back here. So, and right here. Essentially, this is kind of how it goes. That's the pier as it comes straight out of this box. So, no case. I know other people have. Uh, I've definitely gotten cases, but they do make them without them, so here we are. Uh, my, Like I said, my Sim 70G is going to sit atop this thing. Um, this has been rated to support, I think, the Sim 60s. Um, I read that my um, IEQ 30 Pro will uh, fit right on top of here, which I have out there right now currently. Um, so I've been using that on a standard tripod. But you know, so this mount, this tripe here, I can theoretically, I could go out and at least test it out with my EQ30 for my Optron until I get my Sim 70G. But anyway, um, this is uh, how it looks. The legs right here. Let's see if I can uh, see. You can see the holes right here. So the, the the legs actually go in here in these holes, and it should be stored in here. Open this up. Pretty clever. So here we go. It comes out, and there we go. So these basically go right in here. And you loosen this up, and we're gonna slide it in. All right, and that's it. There's one. Doing 
this right. I may have to readjust this in a minute. I think I see my adjustment over there. Okay. So they have these um, little metal spinners here. I'll show you this in a second. It's like a battery cable, it just squeezes uh, this tight. It's like, it's just like clamping a battery cable. Okay. And then these legs come out like that, and it tightens. There's one. Let me end that one. First time I put this together. Okay. Let's see if I need to tighten anything else. There's always something to tighten. And then let's put this bottom back on. storage tube. All right, let's stand it up. Make sure I did it right. Okay. Yeah. So that's pretty much over. So this is uh, it sitting down now. It's pretty straightforward. I do need to, I do need to level the feet. Um, these these are levelers down here. So um, at the bottom, if I can show you, right here. So I need to go go around and level the rest, the other three, the other two legs. Um, but uh, should sit flat and. Uh, I think I can also adjust, so I can adjust the height of this thing too. Looks like I can unscrew this and actually put it up here if I want. So this thing can slide up and down also, make it taller, higher, um, or, or shorter. But uh, but I, can, I think I can, it looks like I can adjust these legs and put them here. So I can make this as high or low as I want. So anyway, that's, pretty much how it is. I'll probably will do another video. Um, I'll probably do another one as soon as I get a mount on there and I'll go into it some more detail on adjusting it and tweaking it. But, you know, initial observations is you saw how fast that was really quick. Um, and then the trick will be actually, you know, seeing what's involved with getting a mount on here. Um, this doesn't look, it looks like it just sits there and, it, and you know, you screw your ioptron mount into these holes right here on the top because uh, you know like on the mountain I have out there there's little knobs on top you just screw down like onto the tripod except I then probably do it right here so it should match up it's rated to support my EQ30 and definitely my Sim 70G when it arrives so anyway that's it for the video I hope I hope um, this was helpful just showing you real quick the tripod here from iOptron all right take care <laughs>